Liu Kang was one of the first people I saw in a Western action movie that I thought, whoa, they let, you know, someone that looks like me, he's, he's awesome. Throughout history, different cultures all over the world reference a great tournament of champions. That dragon marking, I think it's an invitation to fight for something known. Mortal Kombat. It's really funny this morning because I think uh, the trailer was supposed to get released uh, at nine o'clock, but suddenly it dropped at eight o'clock. We're all wondering what's going on. And then on the internet, it started trending that some Russian site had this thing. I'm not trying to start a conspiracy. I'm just saying they get their information somehow. So people drop the trailer early. And then the cast started telling me that it's dropped, it's live. And then everyone's getting confused as to what's going on. But then we just decided that uh, we'd, we'd go on to Zoom and watch it together for the first time. First learned about this seven years ago on a mission in Brazil to capture a wanted fugitive. When we got there, it tore through our unit in seconds. And then I was, I was bullied a lot when I was a kid. So I had to, you know, learn on the streets. It's funny, I was talking to Robin Shu. We started martial arts after, around the same time, after high school, like really, really focused on training for martial arts. And I started when I took a trip as a present to myself for surviving high school over to Thailand. I trained Muay Thai there and I found it was really different. You know, it's not just about destroying another person, but it's also about getting there in, in the ring with another person and sharing what you've learned physically, what you feel emotionally, because all those things are mixed in. You know, when you get a punch in, you're happy, but when someone punches you in the face, you're not so happy, right? So those are all feelings that are getting exchanged. And it was really, I felt like it was really honest. These are your champions. I'm Sonia. That's Kano. I'm Liu Kang. There were action movies. I mean, I grew up in China. I grew up in Hong Kong. So that's what I started uh, watching a lot of these films. But as soon as I moved out of there, I stopped seeing people that looked like me on screen. Everyone kind of um, rags on the second Mortal Kombat that came out in, in 98 or whatever, Annihilation, but I actually skipped school to watch that movie, we snuck into the theater. And at the time I thought it was great. I hadn't seen it now because I'm so careful of not destroying that childhood memory. And I spoke to Robin Shu about it and he had a lot of really nice, um, insightful and inspirational things to say. When you, when you get into the parking lot of a film, you just, you never get so happy just driving into a parking lot because you're there and you know everyone, hundreds of people on set and all their, their minds and hearts are just set on one thing is to get this done. And then, and then you step back and you go, what are we getting done here? We're just, we're just playing. We're just all pretending. It's like, it's like playing with action figures or dolls. It's just really expensive, you know? Uh, when the movie started, we filmed in Adelaide, in Southern Australia. It was fabulous. It was a really small town. Everything was in reach. There was no traffic anytime. And it was really close to the outback because a lot of the movie was shot on location physically in the outback in these just amazing, these radical locations where, you know, at points we had to live underground. At points we had to survive this like granite quarry when everything just looks like hell because they had lit the whole thing on fire and rocks were exploding while we're, while we're filming. And so those were all just physical things that we had to deal with and we could feel. There's Mortal Kombat, there's Kung Fu on CW, 
and there's a Chinese show called Ni Hao An Yi. In this Chinese show, I play an android that's trying to get some human feelings and pursue his like old Chinese or, or old android love. Right after that show, I jumped onto another indie where I had to speak like a new dialect in China that I didn't, I didn't grow up with. It's the Sheshan dialect that came right at the end of this android show where I had to be like this perfect, uh, this perfect entity, and I had to jump into the body of like a chain smoker who had some issues. I mean, for me, I really consider myself fortunate. I know there's a lot of unfortunate incidences out there, like. Of course, people getting sick and people dying. I'm trying to do some charity efforts to help with that. And of course, a really important thing is the rising racism that's all over the place against Asians,、um, especially in light of the recent attacks against you know our elderly and our women. And that's really concerning. It should shouldn't be there. It shouldn't be done. And we've been we haven't spoken out loud enough or acted、um, as much as we could to prevent those things and to stop those things. I think it's about time. I think people talk about it and they don't see anything happen, and we get tired and we stop talking about it. But we can't stop talking about it. There should be like a 24/7 chat room with relay between between moderators to keep the conversation going because we can't forget about this. I mean, kids should talk about it with their parents. Their parents should talk about it with their kids. But this is part of the legacy. We need to protect our elders. When people attack our elders, they're actually attacking our future because. Guess what? You're going to be old someday. That's your future. They're attacking that, and you know when 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 women get attacked, they're attacking our our mothers, our sisters, our daughters, and that's that's just really、um, yeah. It's it's not just, and it shouldn't be done. You can really tell Australia is the sacred land because like none of the animals are afraid of you. So we're filming this scene where I I first enter and it's a really intense close up. But in every single shot, there's four flies just here on my eye, and I don't know why, but I'm not really I don't really mind. So I was just in it. But the <laughs> the other actors they're looking at me trying to act and try not to throw up at the same time because they can just imagine these flies sucking up my eye juices. And、um, and finally, a lot of times the director had to call cut because we just couldn't use any of those shots. It's too disgusting. <laughs> It's like, what's wrong with Luke Kang? Is he a robot or is he a monk?